The summer can be prime time for high energy usage, but it isn't the only time that it can occur. And while it certainly can be a burden, today we are going to look at some common and uncommon causes of high energy usage and ways to reduce it. Let's go take a look. In our video on watt detectors, we found that there are a lot of items in the home that use electricity. Now your heating and cooling uses the most electricity, especially if you have an electric furnace. But what about electronics and lights? The average home has 20 or more light bulbs in it. Now if you have all incandescent bulbs, that can cost you around $17 a month. But if you replace them with LED light bulbs, that would cost you only about $3 a month. Not to mention that LEDs will pay for themselves after 3 months, and they can last up to 10 to 15 years. Most homes are also full of various electronic devices, TVs, gaming systems, sound systems, computers, and more. Setups much like this one can cost as much as $6 a month when running 8 to 10 hours a day. And depending on how many setups you have, that all can add up. So already between lights and electronics alone, we can see the impact it has on our usage. But the real energy hog is up next, heating and air conditioning. Your furnace filter is a great place to start as it has a significant impact on your usage. A dirty furnace filter will restrict airflow, causing your system to run longer, increasing your usage. Not to mention it can cause damage. Pleated filters are generally recommended for most homes. It is also recommended to at least check your filter once a month to see if it needs to be replaced. The thermostat is also a great place to try and reduce your energy usage. Raising or lowering your thermostat can affect your usage by 1-5% to per degree. But that isn't the only thing to be mindful of. When set to heat or cool, you want to be sure the fan setting is set to auto. If set to on, this will cause the blower in the furnace to run constantly. A blower running 24 hours a day can cost you as much as $30 a month. Not to mention in the summertime, it increases the humidity of the home, leading to discomfort and wanting to turn the thermostat down, increasing your usage. So be sure you keep the fan setting to auto. As you can see, it isn't necessarily just one thing that can cause a high usage bill, but rather the accumulation of many things. Switching to LEDs, turning off unused items, and keeping your heating and cooling system in clean and good working order are great measures to help reduce your energy usage, saving you on your utility bill. For more tips, visit our energy efficiency page at oppd.com.